name is Alana Wooden and I am a teacher at Orange Cove High School. I have taught here, this is now my fifth year, and I really love it here. I have the best students really in the world and I mean that very with all of my heart because I have taught also internationally in Mexico. I've also taught in Mozambique and my students here are just really wonderful. So, yeah, okay, here we go. So I talked to Angelina. I decided I wanted to become a high school history teacher when I was in high school. I went and I had a teacher named Mrs. Beloyan and she was phenomenal. She was the first teacher that really taught me that I could think and that critical thinking was fun and I really enjoyed it. And so from that point on, I decided I wanted to be a high school teacher. I also decided that I wanted to go to prom every year for the rest of my life and the only way that I could do that is if I became a high school teacher. So I decided to pursue that. I went to Westmont College and um, got my teaching credential. While I did that, I also really love to travel and I really love um, studying other cultures. So I minored in Spanish and I studied abroad in Querétaro, Mexico. Um, I absolutely fell in love and I decided that I wanted to also um, travel more and I wanted to be able to see the world around me and so I um, applied for an international teaching job in Mexico. I had done my student teaching in Costa Rica and so I moved to Mexico. I lived there for three years and then I really felt this tug on my heart um, to go and do mission work and to love on people in rural Africa. So. I signed up for a school of ministry and missions and I went over there. I really thought that I was done with teaching at that point. I was ready to go and work with Syrian refugees in the country of Jordan. But while I was there, all I could think about was Orange Cove. And so I literally sat there and I was like, I can't even find Orange Cove. I thought I was gonna live outside of the country for the rest of my life. And then I, all I could hear was Orange Cove and so I decided to move back here. I didn't know anybody in this area. Um, I grew up in Fresno, but I didn't necessarily know anyone in Kings Canyon. And so I went in, I applied for a job, and they made me a job. Um, part of making me a job was giving me a bunch of electives because they didn't really have a spot for me. And that's how I got into AVID, and I love AVID. I basically get to be a school mom, and I get to help all my kids get into college. I get to help them with life things. We get to have real talks, hashtag real talks. I get to do leadership and do all the fun things. I get to go to prom now every year, and it's really fun. Um, we also have a phenomenal staff here, which makes it really, really good. Um, in terms of doing something else in life, I could definitely see myself doing something else. I love working in human resources, but even more so, I love traveling, and I just love loving on people. I have a really big heart for refugees and for um, displaced people groups. So. Um, how that has played out in life is pretty much every chance I get, I travel and I go places where I can help people who are in those people groups. So for example, this last summer, I went to the Philippines and I got to meet people who are displaced and just sit with them kind of in the dirt and love on them a little bit and see what the church is doing to help them and be a part of that huge part of my life has been my awesome friends and family. I have gotten to travel all over the world with them. I cannot speak highly enough of all of the support that I've had throughout all of my years. So as you'll see in a lot of the pictures, I am always with around people that I love and being introduced to new people. I love going into new cultures. So traveling to South Africa, I got to spend six weeks there and meet a whole bunch of new people and really enjoy a new culture and a new environment and what God's doing in that environment. I absolutely love to explore and to go on adventures and to not necessarily know what's gonna happen. I always have to have a place to stay, but I really love just going on adventures and trying new things. So we'll see where our next adventures take us. 